I have conjured animals. Okay, strange roll. I'm gonna go make coffee. Be right back. Good. Mm hmm. DD Acquisitions Incorporated. Oh, okay. It's in. I don't have that module loaded. <clears throat> uh, no, no, it, it's loaded. I just can't look at the image, damn it. All right, coffee achieved. Ooh, a two. He's with deft. <clears throat> All right, Ferris, you want to uh, be... Ferris is also getting coffee. Oh, is he? I should have asked him this before yep. I left. Let's see. I'll find a good two. Oh. I have a question. Is uh -huh. this a medium humanoid? Um? Can I be a kobold? <laughs> I think they're technically think small. Kobolds are so small. Mm. Hold on, but let's check the race. The race might be different. It says any race. I will be right. No, no, as far as the actual race card, what it says. Kobold's a race. Kobold. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Kobold. Bolos. Size? Hmm? Your size is small. Um, okay, then what about, like, a small dragonborn? There are none that live on the ground. They all live in the sky. Make yourself a tall kobold. I mean, I just found the perfect picture, too. I will let you be a lengthy kobold for the sake of this. Yay! For the sake of good art. All right. Do I um, give you a picture? If you want to, you absolutely can. Uh, where's my folder? Folder, folder, folder. And paste. All right. Oh, shit. Um, uh, hmm. I may have closed my thing. Oh, I have it, don't worry. You're in the combat tracker, too. Oh, okay. Uh, minimize, because uh, if I leave it open like that, I'm going to close it. Been there, done that. You could hotkey it too. I think it may not load next session, but it should load this session. Let's I see. Have my this feels like a good. There we go. Oh. Let's see. 
Let's give him. Yeah, I find it really uh, useful that I have. Uh, is it the mage hand as an at will? I don't know where I get it from. Hey, I've got a at will mage hand too. All right, Ferris is going to be a CR two orc. <laughs> Should have asked him. Did you want to pick your name, Dark, or did you want to be a main Jim Dark match? What'd you say? <laughs> did you want to name your character? Oh no, we're going with Jim Dark Magic. Oh, you're gonna be Jim now. You're gonna be Jim. You gotta make sure Theris can stream. <laughs> All right, so we got Jambo, we got Jim, we have Helena, and we have Morgan. Now let me load Helena's. So what module is this now? Uh, that is from Acquisitions Incorporated. Oh, that's the Rick and Morty one, right? No. Uh, no. But... <laughs> oh, it's the Acquisitions Incorporated. Bye. Also, Dark, you'll be receiving a cease and desist letter within the next week. Oh, uh, oh, oh, it's one of those situations. Ah, here we go. I had to refresh it. All right, so that's there's his character. Oop, there you are. There's the map. Well, actually, let me drop characters now. Ah, it helps when you have a grid. So, give us some background, no, Bell. You said we're mm -hmm. bandits. I'll get to that. We'll what type that. of? <coughs> yeah, that's not my image. I didn't get your image. Yet. Hold on. We're getting there. We're getting there. <coughs> Using token tool to make my character. Uh, let's see. And Jimbo, what the hell do you think you're doing leaning out of your token? I gotta stretch sometimes. You know, it's really funny the character image I chose is very similar oh, to the Oh god. What? I, just saw, I just saw what death sent me. <laughs> All right. Uh, priorities. Uh, Def, can you get their picture first? I'm doing them both at huh? the same time. Oh, I want to see your picture. Oh, All you right. will. You're awesome, too. No, uh, I'm zoomed in. I want to see a change. Wait, where am I? Oh, we're on a map. Oh, okay. Uh, on the map. There's uh... a fog. I see that fog effect now, Bell. <clears throat> Why can I not... Oh, there we go. I was like, what the hell? Someone really needs to fix that hole. The fog's getting in. Why is it not letting me do this? That before, too. Hmm. Shit, where'd the other one go? <clears throat> Much better. Okay. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Refresh. All right, so that. Here's a crap of <clears throat> bust if you want that. I couldn't get a picture without the person in the background. And Just don't zoom too. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah, you've been replaced by a question mark. And then we got Ferris's character right there. 
You know what that reminds me of? Hey, who's turning me around? You remember, you remember back in the volcano when we found that one kobold that actually had a loot and was just like going at it? Was he playing the loot or was he just kind of like eating it? That's meat. Well, I'm meat I mean, the big leagues. I don't live in a cave anymore. Playing is like, would the kobold say he was playing? Yes. Would Ari say he was playing? No. She would probably say that he was just hammering onto the strings, <laughs> making noise. Isn't that what music is? <clears throat> well, to him, apparently. <laughs> then he's making music, and your opinion is um, invalid to him. Did we ever get that kobold's name? I'm pretty sure Jambo. I don't think he ended up living. Whatever if I was, it was Jambo now. He's in the book. He'll always be in the book. <clears throat> I'll turn this back to you. I just wanted to center everybody. My grid was wonky. Better. Okay. Now I, can I, turn the back down. I don't have my legs. <laughs> Don't let their secret must hide. It's not even loading the wheel. Come on. You can feel <laughs> it. And away you go. I'm getting okay. seconds to one from me. What? <coughs> and locked. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. Beth, I'm not going to lie. When you zoom out, you kind of look like you're either a squid or an octopus. This is a you good thing. Like, you look like a boot. <laughs> <laughs> like one of those cartoon boots with a mouth. All you need is googly eyes. All right, who wants to be lead bandit? Uh, obviously <clears throat> Jambo. Jambo? I am the leader. All right. Okay, now who's the real leader? That's up to you guys. It could be Steak. It could be Jim. It's up to you. Steak? No, I refuse. I mean... Magic. magic. <laughs> I made him just Jim. Um... <laughs> Jim, no last name given. I just put steak in for Theris's name. It could be a mistake, but. <laughs> and now I'm hungry. <clears throat> Semper, why don't you take lead on this one? Because I have no idea what's going on. Nobody does. That's None the best of... part. The leader gets a letter. That's about okay. it. Sure, I'll be a leader. All right, as soon as Theris is back, we'll go. Uh, am I missing a picture for anyone? We'll just see if there's a picture. Okay, I'm here. Oh I'm my thinking. god. Welcome back, man. Alright, so you drew a CR2 uh, orc who is currently named Steak, but you can name him whatever you wish. <laughs> I'm gonna name him Duncan. Duncan McCockiner. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go, actually. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'll roll the CR2 instead of CR. We, yeah, don't worry. CR2 as well. We have two CR2s, a four, a five, and an eight. I'm assuming Techno got an eight. So who's leading up? I said I'll take it. All right, Morgan. My game, how are we? Yeah. It won't matter for long. Um, <laughs> Don't say it like that. You were left a letter by your employer. You and your compatriots, you can call them that. They're, they're funny, but I mean, yeah, have been left to guard a prisoner. 
while he is out. Your uh, boss's name is Max. Paladin. Oh. Has a very... Uh, he almost... It almost seems like he's two people sometimes. Like, sometimes he's really, really nice. Other times, not so much. But, in his note to you, when he headed to town, he left you a reminder to please feed the prisoner and remember to water it at least twice a day. <laughs> he's thinking, you stop for a second. Shit. We totally forgot to feed and water the prisoner. Uh, fuck. It's lit up in here right now, too. With that, go for it, people. Hey, Jambo, go feed the prisoner. I'm pretty sure it was Steak's turn today. Who oh, Steak? You your keep looking at me and saying steak, my name's name. Duncan. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going through that phase. No, bro, I <laughs> it's okay. I closed the character sheet by accident. Can you reset it to me? Yeah, it's all good. Oh, here's Duncan. <clears throat> well, why don't you be off already? All right, so. Jambo, Duncan. <laughs> Whose turn was it to feed them today? Whoever well, has to feed, that's gonna be me. <laughs> it was a nineteen. Oh, and I'll feed to some bitch. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> Grumble as I head off to get get the food. All right. Uh, so I play a little went went. Oh, yeah. The bard's uh, instrument is currently a slide whistle. So, you go over, you start to just gather up some provisions to take out to feed the prisoner. Um, the rest of you have kind of... You've all been kind of locked in here. Well, you're not really locked. You're stuck here watching the prisoner. But, like, you've been here a while. It's probably been a good <laughs> few weeks since you've really left, like, the general area. You're all getting a little bit of stir-crazy. It is currently... About nine o'clock at night. But other than that, all is going well. You have food, you have drink. So what you will so do is up to you. How much longer do we have to stay in here anyways? Oh, however long until the boss says otherwise. Yeah, the boss. <clears throat> Duncan will begin to go outside. I assume we know the boss is uh, a metal man. Yeah. Or does it just... <clears throat> oh, yeah, you know for sure. You ask me, he doesn't sit right. Something seems wrong with him. So it gets you he doesn't show up. <laughs> so um, much Adam. Duncan, go ahead and roll a uh, perception check for me if you don't mind. If you don't have one, just roll a d20. Uh, Twenty. Be just a whiz check. Also, I cannot move my token. I know. Did we ever figure out a way to make that work? Did you not get that one? Uh, I can think of one way to make extension where you can uh, add the uh, NPCs to the player's main sheet. I thought I did. Does it have a toggle in settings? No, it would be. Uh, it adds on. It takes like the log tab and turns it into. <clears throat> uh, same. A companion sheet, and then puts the log info under note. You may have not Let's turned see, the extension yeah. on. Adventures fact, and now I may not have gotten it, but yeah, we'll get there. 
Um, if you want to move just somewhere, just quickly turn or create chemistry. <clears throat> nah. We got better things to do with right. our time tonight. Yeah, I can't <laughs> move mine either. Uh, Duncan. Look around. It's cloudy and dark. You can't see for piss out here. You kind of like hug the building as you go along to the prisoner's hatch outside. Oh, what the hell would I step in? Slob brownie. Hey! Wake up. I bang on the door before I open it. Leah! <laughs> <laughs> Tell him for your slob. Piss off. Cranky drow. Uh, as you suggest, I'll piss on you. Oh Just take a. T I'll, I'll, I'll alleviate myself over the uh, hatch. I am gonna kill you, Leah. You just kind of sit there. You've been in here for like three days at this point. You had kind of a creative argument over your captivity, um, and you lost. Always do. Oh, sorry, so you've about been that. put on timeout. Piss off. Thought not said piss on. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna die. Oh no, not my level two orc go. NPC. <laughs> Duncan. From the trees to your northeast, you hear a crack. Just look went over. looking through the fog, trying to see something. Kind of hard to see. Let me just expose all this. <clears throat> there we go. Look over. It's really hard to tell. But it definitely came from like this general ish area. Somewhere like between these two trees. Do we have any more people with us? that would be part of our group normally, or is, is this everyone that, with our group here? Mm, roll an intelligence check for me. <laughs> Look, uh, you pull out your, your fingers and you start counting. One, two, three, four, five. And you pause for a second, and then you look at your other hand, and you hold up another finger. It's a nub, though. Hey! Dave is supposed to be on guard! Or on watch! Dave, at you over there in the bushes? Quit playing with yourself and get back on watch. Another... Like, sounds like a heavy branch kind of breaking in the tree. But no response from Dave. Uh, stupid... Oh anyway, yeah, I dump uh prisoners' food. Uh, I'll just head back inside. All right. While he's outside, was there anything you guys wanted to do inside? <clears throat> you hear Duncan kind of like yelling well, off at Dave from outside. Well, may as well do something to kill the time. Shuffling deck cards again. As soon as Jim hears that, he uses minor conjuration to make a hat to start to and minor illusion to start doing magic tricks. <gasps> Pull, like pulling a rabbit out of a hat, all kinds Witch of stuff. If you just have uh, save save the showmanship for the suckers. Duncan. You want to get out in? Sure. You open the front door, and as you open the door, all of the candles and torches in the room, as well as the fire, go out. Was it accompanied by a breeze when I opened the door? Or? Ah. Like, the door kind of goes a little bit, it kind of slams a bit, but it's like a chill breeze that just kind of passes behind you, and you just kind of shiver a little bit. 
are we is this normal or no jim i mean cool nights aren't that uncommon but like it's just a blast of like really cool air like even with it being more cold these days typically not super common to have something like that happen it just more is cold there's not like super wind or anything I start using printed digitation to start lighting the candles again. You gotta flick one on. It won't light. Mm. Some right here. Can I go check out the wind closest window? Sure. Go ahead and roll a perception check. <clears throat> Jambo. Oh. I see you can't it's like hard to see the tricks at the moment. You guys are kind of sitting there waiting for <laughs> someone to get the lights. She's like, oh man, this is so fun. And you hear something on the roof above you. Oh. What is that? His day fucking around that day. He was crawling in a tree oh, earlier. Something's there. on the roof. It's probably Dave jacking around. Having a go at us. Go check um, it out. As you hear this, you're. It sounds like something is galloping on top of the rooftop and it runs north to south and then stops. Seemingly continuing moving, probably off over the roof ahead of you, Duncan. I'm half hiding under the table. Lana, Lana will be definitely casting some mage armor. She's going to stand up and. Be a uh, bit on edge. I figure it's Dave trying to <clears throat> jack with us, so I'm just gonna like shoulder the door in case he's gonna try to bust in and they can't get in. Sure. So you kind of fold the door shut. All right, more. Ooh, Morgan. Mm -hmm. You look out and you <clears throat> see Dave. Kind of like resting up against the well. Let me get a token for Dave. Uh, face down. Uh, oh, this is a good Dave. I don't care who says otherwise. Dave! Hey! <laughs> um, it looks like he's kind of like leaning on it, uh, facing towards the well. All right, so that wasn't Dave. But you also noticed Dave is not moving. Yeah, no. She's uh, that uh, line of head over to the window and also take a look. <sighs> Dave's at the well. Uh, Duncan. <clears throat> Well, if Dave's at the well, then who the hell is on the bloody roof? Do we still hear the movement? No, it like ran like something heavy ran across the roof and then likely jumped off. It was probably Dave. Now he's over there jacking with us. Uh, probably tried to jump into the, the, the well. Why would he do that? So Dave's not moving at all? No. He's just kind of like arms over. Like not even the right <clears throat> moving. Mm -mm. No, I mean, dead. it's super foggy, but like Dave's just chilling. And he's supposed to be on watch. No torch, no nothing. Sleeping like normal. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> oh, can you let me move my token, please. Okay. I can't. I can move. Uh, none of us can. Oh, we can't move tokens. Okay. We won't go. We Get won't in. go. I want to go out the front door. Take a look. Uh, he's currently blocking the front door. You're behind. Uh, Duncan. If she was saying that, I'm like, I'm gonna go kick Dave in the ass. Tell him to get up. All right. So Duncan runs outside. Are you going behind Duncan? Uh, or are you yeah. saying? I'm not, I'm not right. running. But I'm just gonna, I'm casually walking out there. Oh, I know. So we'll say Chambo is like behind you. 
you kind of make your way over to Dave. Jambo will be like right here. Uh, Morgan, you stay at the window? Yep. Uh, where do you want to be attacked now? Uh, where the red square is. Are you a cobalt? Yeah. Do you move me by the, the other window? Uh, this one? Yeah. Alright. Perfect. <clears throat> Alright, so Duncan, as you get close, what do you want to say to Bob? Or not Bob. Wow. Dave. I'm going to, like, kick him in the ass with my boot. And like, get up. You ain't getting a cut of pay if you don't do your job. So as you go to kick him, your foot sticks to Dave. <clears throat> what the heck? Dave, let go of my foot. Something's not right about this. And he's just kind of sitting there, but he won't let go of you. Like, you're stuck to Dave. Damn it, Dave, let go. And I would reach down and, like, punch him in the face. All right, so you go, roll an athletics check as you go to punch him in the face. <clears throat> you punch and you connect. Your arm goes through Dave's head and is currently sticking through the center of it. He's like harsh almost. I just start shrieking. Uh, I, I, can, I, can I stand up with him like attached to my arm? You're kind of hopping on. So you got like one leg on the ground that you're kind of like standing or hopping on. You have one leg stuck to him, one arm stuck in him. So you got one free arm and one leg that's holding you up. What the hell? <laughs> Damn, but look at this. Why is he sticky? I don't know. G get him off me. I, well, I don't know what to do. And I'm trying to pull you my watch arm his, out. His head turns to you. Right. He's going to try to grab onto you. <clears throat> I don't think he uh, just roll an athletic surge. Well, this is to kind of engulf you further. So he's trying to like pull you into him. So go ahead and roll athletics or acrobatics. It would be a disadvantage because you are already caught. Disadvantage. That's not bad. This is what I'm screaming for Jambo to help me. Jambo! You're trying to get away. He. You keep it from, like, getting further on you, but you're still stuck, and you're, like, hopping for Jambo. Jambo, what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna try using Taunt. Uh, DC 12 Charisma saving throw. Or disadvantage on checks, attack rolls, saving throws. Until the start of my next turn. Towards Dave? Uh, yeah. You, what do you want to yell at him? Get off, Duncan! You yell at him, but it seems to have no effect. Okay, uh, that's a bonus action for my action. I'm gonna cast Mage Hand and try and start grabbing stuff. Alright, so you start trying to, like, pull on him? Like, no, my strong hand, my strong hand! It seems to have no effect on him. It's not working, Duncan! You guys out in the house just see, uh... Duncan and Dave, like, wrestling around. Leah, and you hear, I you hear the commotion up now? Partially inside of them, or? Roll a perception check at disadvantage because of the fog. Uh, Morgan's gonna head outside. <laughs> Alright, so you're like, uh, you start heading outside. I grab my weapons. Alright, so you head that way. Jambo! As you're sitting here with Duncan trying to like tell him what to do to get out you look as Duncan's face just turns puzzled and then startled and frightened as he looks towards you but behind you I need everyone to roll initiative Ooh. Oh. Just for the uh, moment. It may not last long, but we'll see. I guess I'll just... Just a dex check for the... 
Hey, I'm rolling uh, my standard uh, initiative rolls, though. I got a three. No, it's not. Uh, Actually, here. They're NPCs. I'll just do it for you people. Sorry. I'll just make it easy. Yes. Roll averages. I forgot. I have to roll for initiative. My bad. Or you could send an initiative request. Except that's going to go to... Oh, yeah, you should be able to pick which ones you want rolled. All right. Let me just get something really quick. <laughs> Let me just get me a picture and then we are good to go. Close enough. You watch. From behind Jambo. Why is it lagging on me? A giant cat. Uh -oh. <laughs> Good kitty. Top Good of the order. Uh -oh. that, that brings us to Good Kitty, sir. Good Kitty's turn. Uh -oh. It's going to run over towards you. Um, it is going to... Actually, because it did run in your direction, it is technically pouncing on you. Oh. So it is going to go ahead and make a bite attack against you. That is a 17. Uh-huh. He bites onto the back of your neck. You take nine points of damage. He's going to kind of <clears throat> pull back a little bit. And he's going to lash. Oh, actually, I need you to make actually I'll force it on you. That is a failed strength saving throw. You are currently prone. So he kind of like pins you down by your neck and then he's going to take a claw attack at you. Uh, my shrieking has gone from confused to fearful. Oh, I still need to roll too because I totally forgot. I went out of order. I didn't roll my initiatives yet. Uh... Don't worry, uh, Deft. I might be able to cast a replacement for you. <laughs> Same CR and everything. <laughs> These are good. Where's the other one? One, two, three. Oh, there he is. I was like, where's my other one? Wow, that's low. All right. As you're kind of pinned there, Morgan. Yeah. As you run to the door, there's someone standing at the stairwell looking at you. Oh, great. Who? You kind of look. It's like a six foot eight armored individual. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you watch as this individual is holding like this big hammer and you just feel chilled to the bone standing in his presence. <laughs> Let's get a run for it. Um, uh huh. Um, uh huh. Gonna take a swing at you with his giant hammer. Uh huh. Yeah, that hits. Oh, I can rage, man. You take seven points of damage. No rage now. <laughs> First one's a freebie. Well, uh, that is also 30 feet, I believe. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Oh, that's not nice at all. Get your circle away from my circle. You and I have two very different definitions of 30 feet. <laughs> Hold on. I can only expand and move my screen very slowly. One sec. 
many windows. I disagree. Windows there's upon a, windows. There's a wall between us. Doesn't make any mention of walls protecting anybody. Where's my thingy? Your thing's getting in the way of my thingy techno. Purple, whoever's purple is 30. If it's diameter, if it's or radius, if it's diameter, then it's half that. So it is just the two of you. Yeah. How much am I getting paid for this? Not enough. Agreed. Um, so that is an additional 11 points of cold damage to you and Jim. So you feel it, and your body just starts to, like, freeze up. Jim, you feel a blast, but it's painful. You, like, look back, and you just hear, like, someone wincing out in pain. Second attack. Yes, son of a bitch. Don't say that. Oh, that was almost a natural 20. You take... What's his modifier to hit? 15 points of damage plus 11. Oh, I think. Uh, and you both take an additional shit ton of cold damage. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it, guys. Nine points. Hang in there, buddy. Uh, okay, I'm still alive. That ends Gronkum's <clears throat> turn. Helena. Uh, what kind of window is this? Glass. Like, does it open or? I mean, it's got. Let's see. For this one, I mean, it's a glass window. If you hit it hard enough, it opens. Yeah, it's not like a super nice window. Yeah. Like, it's actually, you know, this one probably wouldn't open at all. But you can break it. Uh. No, she's going to uh, just go ahead and misty step out and then step uh, or get some cover here. Sure. The... Um, does that cat. look like a terrestrial cat or some kind of uh, extra dimensional cat? Well, uh, Arcana check. You have no idea. But it's big. <clears throat> the hell kind of cat is that? Um, she will then use her action to cast, I guess, a firebolt at it. All right, so you go ahead, lose a firebolt. Mm hmm. That hits. <clears throat> um, is my damage 1d10 or is it uh, fire? Your firebolt, your casting level. Break me one moment. You are a ninth level spellcaster, so you get dos. So 2d8. Or 2d10. Okay. 2d10, yeah. 10 points of fire damage. So it's like mauling <clears throat> poor Jambo. <laughs> Have you ever um, accidentally squished a ketchup packet before? Mm -hmm. That's what he's doing to me. Yep. yep. Except it's not an accident. <laughs> Anything else? We're under attack. Um, nope, that is her action and bonus. You now see up in the tree, Jason is going to go ahead, take his first shot advantage because you didn't know he was there. Uh, who? Uh, he's shooting at um, Helena. Oh, that's right. He doesn't have a sharpshooter. That is a 24. 
That's a hit. I don't think I have shield. Not that yeah. shield would help me with that. <laughs> well, you didn't know the attack was coming. I don't like how all our characters are coming to kill us. <laughs> 10 points of damage. He's going to remember his hunter's mark. It's only Gronkum's characters. That one goes on me. But yeah, Hunter's Mark. That's self. Actually, how close is he? Oh, he's up in a tree, though. The range of that. Yeah, I just need to double check the range. The uh, health rebuke, I think, is 60. 60 feet. Uh, if he's casting Hunter's Mark, I'm going to counterspell that. Uh, Not a cast, I don't think. Hold on, let me check for him. I think it's just an ability. No, nah, nah, it's, it's Ranger's Hunter's Mark. No, he, there's a Ranger that has it as a, an ability now, too. Oh, son of a bitch. I don't know if it's him, though. Hold on, let me just double check. He... It's been a while since I played him. Gloomstalker magic. Nope, we're good. I mean, it's even called Gloomstalker Magic. Okay. Well, no, but there's different types. Um, as he goes, he'll continue shooting. Next shot. Um, oh, like bastard. Did he not have Sharpshooter? I thought he did. He does have Sharpshooter. Yeah, I thought he did. All right, we're going to do... Where's his feet? Ah, let's fix that. Sharpshooter shot. How about that? That is a 20. I think that hits, oh, yeah. That's a hit. Is that mm -hmm. a shield range? Oop. Wrong button. Did she used a reaction on counter spell. Ooh. Ah, totally intentional. No. <laughs> and the damage die. You take an additional 22 points of damage. Gamble! Um, you're prone, but you're not grappled. Jambo going to cast Thunder Wave. Oh, Jambo, no. That's not going to work. Eh? Eh. You did it. I just have to click it. That's oh. a fail. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, <clears throat> 2d8 thunder damage and it's pushed 10 feet away from you. All right, so go ahead and drop the damage down him. And you want to push him directly back? Yep. Jambo, run. Jambo's going to run. Run, Jambo, run! Where are you going to run, Jambo? Um, hmm. I'm not that fast. I've got 15 foot of movement, Max. Can I just... You're 30 feet. Uh, no, technically you're 25 right now. Oh, but I'm prone, so i got to stand up. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to try and scramble up the tree a little bit. So since Make uh, acrobatics or athletics. Ooh, you're not going to be able to go, though, because it'd be at half speed. So you could get to, like, the tree trunk, or you could run towards uh, Duncan. <clears throat> since technically Duncan's looking... combat is happening all at one time, does the cat get knocked back into the frost damage that's going off in the AoE? No. <laughs> it happened a split second before. Um, I'm just going to run towards Helena. We're all matrix running. All right, so you can move about two squares after you stand up, if you're going diagonal. Do you want to go like here? Yep. All righty. After Jambo's turn. Uh, no. Excuse me? <laughs> Goodbye, Jambo. Hello. From another tree. Poor Drambo. 
Jim. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Through the window. Oh, it's an advantage. He still hits you, but it's an advantage. Go 20. Go 20. Okay, it's still the same. How is that one at disadvantage? Oh, I was shooting at Jambo, sorry. Wrong person. But they would have been the same anyways. Actually, no, it wouldn't have been the same. Sorry, you're prone. Oh, we got to remove your prone. Let me do that first. Or Jambo. Run, Jambo, run! I was <clears> thinking <throat> of the um, the Cobalt in Critical Role who was there for all of 15 Spurt. minutes before Spurt. he got Spurt. splatted. Spurt, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh... 20, 20, 20, 20. Ah, boo. <laughs> 34? You take 25 points of damage as you take an arrow directly through the throat. Ow. So you gotta get hit in the chest and then you get hit in the throat <clears> and you just. <throat> Ow. So you gotta get hit in the chest and then you get hit in the throat <clears> and you just. Ow. So you gotta get hit in the chest and then you get hit in the throat. After that. <laughs> <laughs> that brings us to someone else's turn. Excuse me, get the fuck out of my house. He's on the roof. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, buddy. This isn't fair. <laughs> I wanted to cast Polymorph at least once. You know, I never got to do this the first time around. And someone stopped me, so you just watch as the gentleman on top of the roof looks Danny Helena. Doesn't look like it's going very well. And he's gonna cast disintegrate at you. <laughs> oh, Excuse me. That. We exist to die. <laughs> oh goodbye, Helena. That's rough, buddy. <clears throat> he's on the Ash. We had to play out the rescue mission. Yeah. Um, he will then jump down oh, and really hoping she would survive. Go for the hatch. Duncan! You're still hopping with Mr. Tarboy. What you doing? Your arm stuck through his head, leg stuck to the side of him. I, I'm just trying to get away from him. I see the other right, stuff so going say, on, so I'm just trying to get loose so I can run. Make a athletics check. Well, you pull this if she material hit by Jason. There, she would have actually survived that. As if you wouldn't have counterspelled him, you could have counterspelled him. <laughs> Thanks. Um. You're able to move at half speed, but you cannot separate from this individual. Then I'm going to drag it with me as I head off uh, stage right. Oof, oof, oof. I'm trying to get it off me the whole time. Uh, you want to use full? Actually, you'd use action. Okay. Get yeah, movement and action. I uh, everything that I, whatever, as much as I can move. Yep. Oregon. Mm. This giant individual is smacking you with his hammer. <sighs> so big guy. If I say I'm not being paid enough for this, we good? Roll a persuasion check. <sighs> oh, great. Uh, that's just a flat d20. Because uh, Gronkum's always good at just stopping and talking. Yeah. No. Wait for it. Wait for it. 14? He just looks at you. Where's your wallet? <laughs> How much do I have on me? Do you pull it out to look? Yep. That's all I needed to know. Now he knows where, you're, now he knows where your goal is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, can I s you know, push pa uh, sneak uh, dex past him? You can disengage. Or you could try to walk away. 
Uh, can I get past him? Out the front door? Yes. You'd have to push past him. He's blocking it. You want to try? I need my action. You could go out a window. There's another window uh, right below where Jim is. Yeah, I'm going to do that, hopefully. Or you can I'm run over drop. Jim's dead body. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I dropped the coin purse on the floor first. Okay, fair. You just drop all your gold. Yep. All right. You want uh, the one by him, or do you want to head towards the one on the west? There's a window right here. All right, so you go 5, 10, 15, 20, and then towards the cat. Uh, Eight. no, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm casting Conjure Animals. 30. Ooh, okay. At what level? Uh, at the max level I can, so at third level. At third level, how many animals? Um, depends on how many. Um, let's see. Uh, considering that uh, CR1 is the only ones that have fly, uh, CR1, two CR1 giant eagles. Oh, well, I get to pick them. All right, or do you pick these ones? Uh, da -da -da -da. Choose from the following options that w of what will appear. One beast of CR2, two beasts of CR1 kind of thing. Each of Beasties. Beast, beast, yeah. beast. It says I can, I choose. Okay. So that is, or am I not seeing my eagle? Did I pick the wrong one? I mean, if anything, uh, I, I could also do uh, four giant owls, hop on one, and they all take off in different directions. I had only my mod loaded. That's like, what? There is everything. All right, so let's see. So it's two CR ones? Yep. Gonna hop on the its back and uh, take the fuck off. Uh, does it go on your turn, or does it get its own turn? Uh, it's, I believe it goes on my turn. Is it one giant eagle? Two giant eagle. I'll roll initiative for the summoned creatures as a group, which has its own turns. We'll just give them their own turns on the NPC track. They already kind of fell in anyways. Mm -hmm. If I can see Jimbo alive. I will say Eagle 2, since it rolled a 22, you can hop on. Okay. And then yeah. where's the other one? Eagle 1. You just summon them on the ground? Yep. All right. So you hop on one. <laughs> and uh, bye. So you go 80 feet. Uh, how long has our group been together? You left all your coins on the ground. Time to cut your losses. <laughs> I mean, does Jimbo carry coins? Deft? Jimbo likes shiny. Jimbo does right. like shinies. Uh, other eagle is going to rescue Jimbo's coin per. I mean, Jimbo. <laughs> all right, so you're 80 feet up with your buddy. Oh, I'm this I'm ordering one. it to dash. Go here. Uh, because it just is summoned, it only gets one movement. Okay. Just because it's in the round. Uh, the other one makes its way over to Jambo uh, and just kind of gets over to him. And then anything else? Bonus? Uh, before I left, I said, Jambo, we're leaving. And you just see this giant bird fly at you, Jambo. You'll take it. Jim. That is a... Ooh. Sorry, Jim. Jim passes on into the great beyond. Uh, no! <laughs> I didn't even get to use one spell. Leah, you hear voices from above your thing, and you watch as this crate kind of... You hear it unlock, but it doesn't open. What do you want to do? Hmm... I 
How long has it been? Oddly enough, you smell something worse than you right now. Is it a familiar smell? It smells horrible, but yes. And it's been three days since you've been down here. Uh, no, how many days since I've been captured? Oh, no, it's been like the year and a half. Okay. Like we're almost on the full year and a half. So okay. you've been down here for three days, though. I'm just going to yell up. Do me a favor. Cut the orc's dick off. I want to see him cry. <laughs> Do you climb out? Can I climb out? Make an athletics check, just because you've been down here without a whole lot of nourishment for a while. You're a little weak. All right. All right, you managed to climb out without issue. You have your manacles on. Do I see Banner? Mm -hmm. He's the one who unlocked it. He's just kind of sitting there. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. You almost smell as bad as I do. Huh. And you turn and you see. Oh, actually, I actually can't see because it's through the building. Sorry, Leah. But you're out and you see one of your dead captors behind you. Well, actually, no, you don't see her either. She's dust. <laughs> you see a pile of dust. And an eagle running at Jambo. You always like Jambo. And she is so hungry for a resurrection. Yeah, I'm just going to chill. I'm going to let other people deal with this. All right. Take the dodge action? Sure. Sure. Uh, no one else is here. I'll skip through all you guys. All right. Tanya that brings us a grenade. All right, it's not yet. Bano. Um, he's going to move down five. Actually, he's going to walk through you there to go sidestep. He actually takes the time to go down and over as opposed to walking diagonal through your ashes. <laughs> I don't suppose being in cover would have helped me at all from that disintegrate. Overhang from no. the roof and all. He was on top of the roof shooting at you straight down. You had no cover at all. <laughs> the roof doesn't overhang at all? No, not from where you are. He was on the other side. Um, Jembo is kind of assuming fetal position on the ground, slowly playing Your Heart Goes On uh, on the slide whistle, which surely does not sound good. <laughs> you've never seen a drow before, but you've heard horrible things, Jambo. And there are three of them here attacking you. This must be a drow raid. <laughs> and he just kind of looks at you. And then he looks over at Duncan. And you watch as he turns his hand. And the form of Dave just engulfs Duncan. Uh, Duncan, roll... Um... Oh, actually, what would this be? Roll a... Uh, would you even get a deck save on this one? No, not because of him. He is the thing. All right, you take... 32 points of bludgeoning damage as it engulfs you and then crushes you. <laughs> oh, that, that's a dead order. You just watch it, like, snap in half and, like, contort and break multiple bones until it's just like this small ball of black meaty goo that's in the little sack. And then he looks back at you, Jambo. I have stopped playing and I'm just kind of... Oh, you still have hit points? Got Wait, he's got hit, hit points. points. You're not dead yet. And I'm trying but it's not looking good. Off. So you take 32. Not bad. And he just looks back at you. So he's still like, he's got his upper arm that's not taken and like his head, the rest of your body is very, very not doing well. Um, Jason. Hmm, that's pretty cool eagle you got there. What's my range? 
uh, uh, I flew this way, thank you very much. Then you're not 80 feet up in there, and it doesn't matter which way you go. Because my range, with Sharpshooter and his weapon, let me double check. In, not fully 80 feet in the air, but at a diagonal away, so... He's got 600 feet that he can shoot you at. I think we're I probably mean, okay. Can we, <laughs> can we uh, pretend that each square is about 30 feet? Do you want to be up or do you want to be over? It depends where you'll land and what he shoots at. You can go south or you can go up. Or a combination of the two. Combination of the two. So let's say about um, 40 feet. 40, yes, 40. 40 in. Yep. All right. Um, would he be mad enough to do that? Nope, he's just going to shoot the eagle. Uh, should we do a sharpshooter shot? Yeah, let's do that. We'll do that, too. Mm, sharpshooter, sharpshooter, negative five. I think that hits. Uh-huh. Eagle takes <laughs> twenty two points of damage and just goes limp as you begin to tumble. Was it a random health eagle? Yeah, all of our NPCs are random health. Okay. Um, it does come scary sometimes too. Uh, so it plummets. You take. You're 40 feet up. Your first stand of free, so you take 3d6 points of bludgeoning damage. There's, there's trees. I can try an acrobatics. <laughs> Not from that distance. Fair. Uh, 10 points of bludgeoning damage. That's fine. I'm still alive. Uh, Unless you can let me drop those damage on me. I'm putting it on you. I'm just looking for you. Uh... 52. Still alive. As you land, he takes his second shot at you. Oh, you bastard. Do Did I have cover? His dear, dear, dear friend. Doesn't matter, he's a sharpshooter. I mean, I could pretend it matters. You could. You very well could. Well, let's make this a sharpshooter shot, too, just in case you try to run away. You don't want to mess with Leah. Was I prone? Uh, no. <laughs> no. No, buddy. I mean, it doesn't I multiply did, the, the bonus. Did I, I fell prone, didn't I? Did you want to try to land it, or did you want to fall prone? It's up to you if you try to, like, brace yourself, I guess. I saw archers, right? I saw, I saw Jimbo get hit by arrows. That you did. Um, yeah, stay on the ground. So that is what did he drop? Oh no, that was just a flat roll. Mm-hmm. Let me roll one more time. Mm, oh no, the advantage. What am I doing? Just a shot. <laughs> Um, that, hey, that, was, that, that, that was from a different character, though. Uh, sorry, buddy. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. It was just meant to be. Uh, did I already put the damage on here? I did not. I'm dead. He could roll a one. He's not going to, though. How many points do you have right now? Less than 10. Wait. Of 13. 13. Can I feasibly survive if he rolls minimum? Probably not, but let's find out. So you kind of fall and you just stay on the ground like, I really don't get paid it. And it just goes dark. Giant Eagle 1 
Uh, it's a concentration spell. It disappears. Oh, no. Jambo, you're like, take me, take me. Reach your arms up, and it just dissipates in front of you. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Gronk, I'm just going to check inside, make sure no one else is here. Sora's not here. Jambo. It's just down to you, you and your buddy. I'm just going to look up at Baynor with my uh, big, beautiful bug eyes. Mm -hmm. And I'm just shaking like a leaf. Fetal position? Um, yeah, just kind of squatting down. He just looks at you. Sit. I sit. Alright. <laughs> it's your turn. But he, yep. they don't kill you. I'm just just clutching my slide whistle. The beast is just going to kind of sit down behind you. And make sure you don't get in the way. Leah, you see the orc. Stuck to the tar, like currently struggling to get away and not doing too healthy. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna walk to Baynor. That's right. You actually have a character. You can move. <laughs> I was like, "What's that?" I don't have any weapons, and I can't use magic right now, so I'm just gonna... He hold, he's like, oh, here. <laughs> uh, he will give you his rapier of life stealing. Oh. Because you have nothing else on you right now, so go ahead and de-equip everything else. That sounds like a lot of work. Do I have to do that? I'll do it later, too. Oh, he took all my stuff. And your stuff. I don't have my stuff anymore. Okay, yeah, that's... Your stuff is not here either. Your my stuff is stuff where you're working. Here. You currently just have, like... Not rags, but you're, like, in just beat-up, oversized clothing. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that was... 30... Um, I take the sword and I just go another 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough for now. Perfect. Unfreeze. Helena's dead. Par Helena. She is so haunting someone for a resurrection. Uh, he is going to hold his action. As he just fixes his bow on the orc. Unconscious. That's saving throw? You don't know. Yeah. Duncan! Same thing. I'm trying to get this thing off of me and just haul ass. <laughs> Alright, roll uh, an athletics check. Let's see if you break free. All right, you do get your full movement, but it is still stuck to you. So you're just like, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just fastening his quick putting uh, any kind of trees and brush between me and the death going on behind me. All right, so we'll say you make it five, ten. We'll just put you on the edge of the map for the moment. All right, Giant Eagle 2 is gone. Baynor's turn. At this point, actually, do I have to spell magic? I might. Hey. <laughs> okay, now, could I see the Drow Hunter in the tree? Um, roll a perception check. You've been a little distracted with your thing and immense pain. Nope. Okay, I say because if I can, 
I use my bonus action to move up to my speed towards a hostile creature I can see, just to give me a little bit further advantage. Uh, well, an animal handling check. And what's your opinion on squirrels? I hate them, and they hate me. Roll on animal and check see. If... <laughs> that that's kind of a bogus thing. I thought about that earlier. I'm like, I'm gonna be like really mad, but at a at a rabbit I see off in the distance. <laughs> no, no, trust me. For this, it doesn't matter. Roll that animal What's handling animal check. Handling? Is that wisdom or intelligence? Uh, uh, oh God, Hold wisdom. On. Wisdom, I think. Yeah, wisdom. You're just like looking for any anything at all. You look over, and 35 feet away, you see a smirky little rabbit that's looking at you, I've been almost trying, laughing at you. Yeah, it's the one I've been trying to, to kill for weeks. So you make your 30 feet towards him? Yes, as a bonus action. All right. So he, he just watches. This is like running off. Yeah. All right. Uh, Baynor's turn. He's going to run over to Leah. Uh, I need to roll an Arcana. Spell attack. He's going to try to dispel your manacles. Please be uh, careful. I like having hands. I could make you more. And then he's going to roll. <laughs> Hey, that works. That's a 23. She watches. He focuses the magic downward towards the manacles, and they just go dim and open and fall off. You're like, ah, and you can kind of feel like the energy returning to your hands. And I'm going to look off towards the orc. I suggest running faster. <laughs> Duncan, it's your turn again. You're like, oh, shit. I'm just I'm gone. Unless somebody catches me or something, All right, I'm, so, I'm just continuing to run as quickly as I can through it. If I know the terrain, then using it to for cover and uh, to get away. All right, so you move 60, you want to go north or east? Whatever I would know to be the, the uh, quickest way away. Uh, from where they are, probably east. So we'll say you go 60 feet to the east. So you're like 70 feet to the east. You're just running through. It's hard to see anything at this point, but this is kind of more the open way to get away from that side. Going north, you'd probably get cut up on like rocks and more trees. All right, so he's 70 feet to the east. Leah. One moment. Oh, don't forget your buddy. Which buddy? Oh, no, not you. Duncan still has uh, Dave on his shoulders. Oh. I know with thought form I don't need components, but does it include components that have a cost? If it just says you don't require material components, you don't require material components. Uh, not things with cost, they're different. Oh, well, if it anyway. doesn't include things with cost, I'll specify that it doesn't, no. like with the catalysts. No, that's the generic rule for things with cost. I, I don't have my focus anyway, so I can't use that. So you can do anything except for, like, things with expense. Okay. Uh... In that case, I was about to be like, oh, yeah, I can just cast whole person, but I don't have my apparatus. <laughs> uh, what spells? What can I even cast? Actually, that sword, let me double check one thing. I'm just going to Dimension Door to him. Sure. It's 60 feet, though, yeah? Uh, dimension Door is 500 feet. 
Dimension door? Or oh, Dimension or... door. Dimension door. I thought you said uh, Misty Step. Sorry. So, yeah. I don't think I have Misty Step. Are there too many trees okay. and stuff in the way to see me? Uh, not from where you are, no. And she sees really good in the dark. <laughs> the two hardest people to run from here are currently Banor and Leah. Because while the other rangers are That's drow, those two are royal. I'm just going to stand next to him. Wait for him to run again. All right, so the elf is next to you. Jason is less forgiving. Uh, how far? Oh, it's 150 feet. He's going to jump down, run to the base, and you just watch as he's going to um, conjure a spike growth. Isn't that like a 20 so foot radius? Yep. I'm just seeing 20 foot range to the end range. So he's going to kind of drop it in front of you. Here, I'm going to move you guys back a little bit just for the sake of ease of life all right so you are next to each other because she made sure to be next to you um she'll be fine that's duncan can't really hit one of you without another so that's gonna be why can i not oh i didn't have you targeted sorry uh, where'd it go Shit. Spike growth. Ha. So that is a fail for you. Why didn't it roll on Leah? Oh, you had to click your button. You failed too. You each tank. Eight points of damage in the area around you, I believe, is difficult to read. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Spikes. Yep, yeah, difficult terrain. Difficult. Yeah, so you're both in the middle of this difficult terrain right now. So give me my square. Okay. Uh, so he just casts that spell. And he's just going to watch. Uh, Jambo! You're currently hanging out with the cat. You know, I've had some good times. I've been on the surface three weeks. I saw the sun. I had a pair once. I've lived a pretty good life. I'm just talking to the beast. Kind of like looks at you very oddly. Uh, the hunter is just going to sit and hang out. Gronkum is probably inspecting the building. The base is just kind of like push you down and lay on top of you, kind of like pinning you to the ground. Okay, I that's okay. Uh, Jason's turn again. He's just going to keep pace behind you. Other hunters going to keep pace behind you as well. <laughs> um. Hmm. Nah, Banner doesn't want to get in the way of your fun. Wow. You guys are like at the very end. Oh, she goes first, though. Um, I'm going to cast Mental Prison. Oh, shit. That doesn't sound good. Surprised you don't like feeble mind him and shove him in the uh, porta potty. Yeah, that's fail. Okay. What did it do? Um, it is long. Just a second. On a failed save, the target takes five d10 psychic damage, which might just kill him outright. So let's see. Yeah, he's got five hit points, so you can roll oh. all ones. 
Okay, wait. So how would you like to kill the last remaining NPC that is... You're supposed to so let me get away so we can does... to be in the campaign later. Uh-uh, no, you're not. You got, you got Jambo. That's what I was... <laughs> I was hoping Helena would make it. And he threw a disintegrate spell at her. And yet, at the end of so... the day, it's Jambo that goes on. <laughs> so before he dies, he sees... Um, the worst nightmare sh scene that his mind can conjure. Oof. And he feels like he's trapped in it. Get all these like fluffy bunnies like bouncing all over me and I can't grab. You just watch. <laughs> As no one else sees it, but you see it. That bunny came back with his friends and you're currently being swarmed by bunnies. You can't help it and they're just like slowly eating away at you. You scream out in pain. Until the pain is too much and you pass out and perish. Hunter became the. We are currently out of combat. You guys kind of like walk back through the woods with your small army of drow. Uh, and that is where we'll end there. However, as you're sitting there with absolutely nothing, um, Banner's going to walk over to you. And he just is kind of like, here, put this on. And he's going to kind of like hand you a robe. One moment. I'm going to cast Press Digitation and clean myself up a little bit. Sure. All right. Take so I'm going to de-equip all of your stuff in your inventory. So you'll see they're all. I'm going to have to recalculate my hit points. I don't remember what they were without the amulet. We'll get there. Don't worry. Hopefully you won't be without them for too long. Hopefully. But you never know. Uh, and he will oh, actually you keep the sword, though. Where's the sword? Sword. Uh, he kind of looks to you. Just give it back to me once you manage to put yourself together. Where'd you find this thing? You look at it. It looks an awful lot like the one that Tess used to wear before he got rejected from that order. Um, I raise a very careful eyebrow towards Baynor. What? It was on the table! Can't just leave a perfectly good robe on the table and expect no one to take it? It is a good robe. So you get the uh, arch robe of the Archmage that uh, he had killed that other wizard for. All right. And with that, Leah, Jason kind of collects you, says farewells to uh, your draw friends, which you do get to say and meet for a little bit. They go back to their um, enclave, more or less. Gronkum returns to Winter Queen, and you return back. For the rest of us, it has been 1.5 years since the last 1.5 years, so we have now completed three years in total. We've made some decent progress on the virus, locally more so than globally. Um, still no cure. Things still going rough, but seemingly um, Theris through study has been able to kind of ward off the uh, undead from coming near the main city of Gancaster. And you're actually here for his promotion. So, with that, we're all arriving at Theris' house. So, let's see. I believe... Did we have a map for your house, or were we just theater of the mining in your house? Okay. The mind. Or if you had it, I didn't see it. No, I didn't have one, I don't think. We can use um, the as his house. <laughs> No, his ass, well, much, nicer than that. <laughs> his ass is much, much nicer than that. Um, so you guys kind of go, probably, I would say, Tanya, Ari, Sora, you guys make your way over there over between, you know, a day or two. Um, as you guys are there, you kind of hear a knock on the door. Uh, Theris, you, uh, your little new ward, it's like, I'll get it, sir. And Keta runs over to the door. 
Um, Mr. Moore? Yes? There's a couple of drow here to see you. <laughs> now, would I, would did that immediately make me think of who it is, or has there been other visitors? I mean, <laughs> you, you only know two drow. <laughs> well, three drow. Better worth talking to. The other ones always try to kill you, so you probably gather who it is. Yeah, but there are and some you guys... that tried to kill me, so I'll cautiously approach the door. But I think you I know who it. it is, but still, always call drow, or you'll stand and follow. You look and you see, um, as he kind of sits there, Jason and Leah step in to the front door. Um, I've got my arms crossed, and I look entirely unimpressed. Just smile real big. Come, come in. It's been a while. How have you been? And yeah. what is that smell? Ariel, run over and give her a hug. Now, is this immediately after she got rescued, or is they had time to? This clean is up? this is like a week or two later. Okay, like so they had to actually travel up. back. Yeah, yeah, she's cleaned up like, and she's she currently like wearing piss, um like orc piss. a red robe of the Arch Magi. Oh, nice attire. Come, come. And uh, I'll tell another servant or whatever to get drinks and, and food. Perfect. Kind of watches your retainer goes in. Um, Leah. You don't remember Theris having a kid. Especially not one that's not human. <laughs> Did Omosh talk about the kid? Not specifically, no. His focus was elsewhere for the work you were doing. Thurs, when did you get a kid? That's, uh... He's more adopted and uh, taken under my wing. It's a, uh, a bit of a story. We can discuss that over, over some food. Uh, and you can tell me right. where you got the rope. <laughs> all right, so you guys all sit down for dinner. I'm just going to grab a drink really quick, so feel free to discuss whatever you want. Be right back. I'm going to AFK real quick, too. My love. I just had the shittiest vacation I've ever been on. Where have you been? We were looking around for you in Omosh, but... I'm not entirely sure. We moved around a couple times. That might be why we weren't able to find you. <clears throat> Sorry, and I went to Golden Perch, but no luck there. Wait, did you know Omosh had me? Uh, yes. What happened back at that manor? Well, <laughs> he tried when to we came out of the manor, he was he was standing in front in the uh, in front of the gate, holding it. Uh, then he went to teleport. Also, apparently, he has an anti magic field. He tried to banish you before he could get away, but no luck. Did he want anything? Did he? What did he say? Uh, I think he wanted the kid. I'm back. That kid? Welcome back. Uh, no. While we were back at the facility, we found a teething child there. Yeah. You mean that one? Yes, he wanted that one. I'm back. Were you not paying attention, Ari? Oh, was she pointing at the tiefling child? I thought she was pointing at the... Uh, then, yes. There was only one child here. Yeah, there was only one child here. I thought there was another Except child. Tanya. No, Tanya's... 
Tanya's the teenager Tanya now. Is fourteen now. Yeah. She is. Oh, you're all she's, so nice. she's thirteen. You know, if you have fourteen or thirteen, she's older. She's she's not a child anymore. She's a teenager. She's a grown up. Oh shit! Oh god! Teenager. No. Oh god! Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. This does not bode well. Nope. Abort. Abort. Uh, Sorho would like to uh, be removed from this campaign, please. I'm not <laughs> dealing with the teenager. <laughs> Be careful how you wish that. <laughs> it's only one way to be removed from the campaign. Well, let me get my tools out. We can remove them. <laughs> also, I love your pet. Uh, it does look familiar. Apparently this room was Satesh's. Who so, thought? You got... Actually, how you did. did. You get... He was wearing this robe when uh, you saw him in uh, the caves in the other world. Yeah, Baynor just stole it. Hmm. Remember when you left through um, Soren's house and he had the confiscated robe back? This got stolen out of Soren's house, but it was Satesh's robe that he had stolen. You guys went through that house, too. I'm mostly wearing it out of spite, and I have nothing else to wear. Well, we can definitely go fix that. No, I do like it. You do notice her infamous contraption, as well as many of her other effects, are also missing. I take it they didn't keep your stuff on him? He has all my shit still. Does he have my dog? Mm-hmm. He has. He's got Henry. No, he doesn't. Wait, what? And you watch it. Jason pulls out from his pouch a small little cloth. He found your dog. He found my dog. That's how he found you. I look genuinely touched. I take oh. it. So you have your dog back, you can re-equip your dog. Well, screw the other stuff then, I suppose. At this point, you watch is um... Do you let him keep his toys in the house, Thurs? Uh, there'll be a special room. Not to just wander the house, but there'll, there'll be a, a crafting playroom. <laughs> So, one inadvertently may have slipped out. Um, As they do. see <laughs> Leah. You feel something crawl over your foot at the table? I take a curious glance. You look down and there's like a little doll. Like it's an actual doll, but it's walking and moving. It looks up at you and waves high. And then it like starts just walking back, minding its own business. Is that normal? Should that be doing that? What be doing what? And you, uh... and you watch his, um Oh, I'm sorry. Hey! Go back to your room. And it just kind of like starts walking down the hall. Heading off towards the rooms. It's fine. Sorry, Mr. Moore. At that point, I can see, because I'm picturing that I'm on the other side of the table, so I don't see what she's looking at. And I'm like, mm-hmm. make sure they stay in your playroom, please. Yes, sir. Did you make that, young man? Kind of, like, looks over at you. I, I nod and tell him, like, he can fuck with that, uh, you can talk to her kind of thing. Mm-hmm. That's Daniel. That's very clever. He was a shopkeeper. He was a shopkeeper. Now that's... Hmm? I'm not going to unpack that right now. Uh, it's best I'm not to. Look over Paris with that comment. Oh, no, no, no. He used to live here like 180 years ago. Isn't that right, Daniel? Oh, here it is, gone. 
Well, he, he can tell you. Like, to glare at our, our... I just hold my hands up. I'm like, it's not my doing. The boy's very gifted in ways that I'm not. Oh, speaking of which, she hasn't looked at all of you guys in a while. Let's see. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, and is, is there a sit there with it, with his hand? You see, like his, he usually always wears like the blue robes, but these are more more elegant, a deeper blue. And as he puts his hands up, the uh, the one hand, his his left hand is like he's got a black. You don't know if it's like a suede velvety type looking glove on, and the other hand is bare. Is black velvet or a deep looks black, but it's a deep blue. Uh, Douglas will look down at your little dog that you're holding, Leah. Is that your friend? This is my friend. Would you like to meet him? We don't have a dog. We tried that. And he just kind of smiles. Happened. Good. Tanya's there, right? You guys hear barking outside? Uh, I'm not going to ask. I'm I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Agreed. <laughs> I don't want to know either. I'm going to um, set Henry on the ground and activate it. And you watch as a little black dog appears. Hi! Henry? Long time no see! Long time no see. Like, you don't look so good. I've been better. You should probably eat something. And he's just gonna, like, jump on your lap. I just pet him on the head. Um, as you sit there, the kid will just go back and sit at the table. He just kind of like minds his own business and watches you guys talk. So this uh, boy is quite special. He, I think he holds the key to helping us defeat this plague we've been dealing with, or at least to control it and keep it under reign. We've got a long ways to go, though. You want to show him? Uh, looking like... Why don't you come over... In the city walls. Do what? I'll show you. You can show him what you've been working on. I'm like... What, what's the boy's name? Uh, Douglas. 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 Come over here and, and show my friends what you can do. Go get your thread, your needle and thread. Oh, well, he can do that one, too, but oh, he actually helped you develop a word system. Oh, okay. Well, if there's, I thought that's what you were talking about is what he was doing. Oh, yeah, he can do that later, too. Um, so using um, kind of what you've learned from him, you've been able to kind of place a series of, of words around the city. So you guys kind of eat. It's not too, too late. You kind of head to the wall. Um, it's a little bit better than it was before. It was kind of more makeshift previously. Um, they've had, like, it's an outer wall, not the castle wall. Um, as you guys kind of walk up on one of the taller little wooden towers, you look out and you see in the field, like, probably like 500 feet away from the wall, you just see like three of the undead just like sitting, not moving. Are they facing the city or facing away? They're just facing the city, standing there. So far, they where we set the perimeter, they, they don't come closer. I'm good for keeping people away, but... And if there's anything I can point out of what the wards are and how if there's anything visible, I'll point them out to everybody. You look at every soft along the walls, they're there. You want to show them the fun part? Is it now? Now watch this. Now, sure. 
And you just kind of watch as he, like, looks out into the field. And you kind of watch as, like, two of the runes on the wall glow. And the three zombies start attacking each other. Until they basically can't move. And he just, like, smiles. That's very impressive. Mm-hmm. So, how did you make something like this? Oh, he's really smart. That's why he's getting promoted tomorrow, right? It's all to your help, though. Couldn't have done this without you. And smile and then, like, rub his head. Just, like, looks really happy. A promotion. Congratulations. Thank you. Of course, it's... So what's your new position? What is my new position? You haven't been promoted yet. You're getting promoted tomorrow. I don't know what they're... Probably just pomp and and show for everything. It's a t- I don't need it. I need titles, but I, I'm doing you get to go before the new king, who has adopted the old prince into their family. Uh, Alistair uh, Cross is now the acting king. Mm. They also own like three fifths of the land that compromises Gancaster at this point. You do see, um, well, actually, you're not there yet. You get to go there tomorrow. But the prince does live with them all. And he is first in line for the throne. As promised by Alistair. So, anything you want to do that night before he uh, gets promoted? I just celebrate. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Go What's there? Shall say. We'll admit, though, that it's a bit unnerving that the plague spread this far. It's basically spread through most of northern Gangcaster at this point. Not Gangcaster, northern Arcadia at this point. Uh, while we're having dinner, and so just kind of a, a nice relaxing reunion and everything where more, everybody can be a little bit more relaxed, uh, <laughs> Duncan, why don't you uh, go get your needle and thread and uh, show them what you can do with maybe make a friend for the the puppy there. Oh, Douglas? Yeah. He'll run over. He goes, um, he kind of runs into his room. He looks over at you, Leah. What is your dog like? Hmm. Well, Henry, what do you like? I always like squirrels. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You watch as he kind of sits there. Okay. And he kind of goes in. He grabs like a bunch of not. Um, it's just like random parts. There's like little wooden and cloth bits that he just kind of gathers up and kind of ties into like a little shape. And he starts like sewing with this needle. And then you just kind of like watch him close his eyes and hold his needle. And it glows green. Ghost. It should be pretty comfy. I'll take good care of you. And then you just watch as the little makeshift cloth squirrel he made starts to move around the room. There you go, Henry. And he just like goes to town on it. As he, or, what's, or as he's saying his incantation there. No incantation. He's going to again go there. He just talks. And he's, well, I guess. Fair. And he said, um, it should be cozy in there. I'll take good care of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or you can there some other pointed stare. <laughs> chuckle at the look. I'm like, it's not my doing, Ari. The boy's gifted naturally. Something with the, the ghost that touched him somehow has affected him. I don't know how he does it. I've tried to, to replicate it myself. I, I can't do it. Uh, 
She then looks down toward his uh, gem hand, then back it's up a toward him. Hand. It's not a gem hand. A gloved hand. <laughs> I, I mean, it's saying gem hand for the, you know, right. of which a, one. At but any yeah, point, it was we're moving hand. around, or I take a drink or something, and my sleeve falls back, and you see the, the glove goes as far as you can see. You don't know how far up his arm it goes, but as far as the <laughs> sleeve will fall back, all you see is glove. And he just kind of like looks over at you <laughs> as you're giving uh, Theris a hard time. Because he just kind of like smiles at you. She'll give Douglas a friendly smile. And again, the glare toward Theris. You should be more careful, Miss Ari. Mm -hmm. Don't get too distracted. You might not see things you should pay attention to. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, dear. That's um. I think that's a condition. That's like a medical condition she has. She can't help it. No, no like it's two of them confused. It's not your fault. It's your destiny. Her destiny? Mm -hmm. What makes you say that? Oh, they told me. I kind of chuckle and I kind of lean back in my seat, cross one leg over the knee and uh, fold my arms and just smile and look and just watch the exchange. Who told you that? Oh. Let's see. I don't remember their names. My friends. Oh? I have a lot of friends. Well, that's good. You're a very kind young boy. I'm not surprised you have a lot of friends. They talk to me. Sometimes it's sad. Sometimes it's happy. And then he looks over towards Sora. And he like walks like directly in front of you. I'll look at him. And he kind of puts his finger on your forehead. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can I help you? Mm -mm. He just smiles and looks up at you. <laughs> he smiles. He's going to sit there and he's going to sit next to you for like 10, 20 minutes and just kind of like he just sits down at the table next to you and just kind of watches you and grins at you. <laughs> he, know, he knows the truth. <sighs> You know, this kid is cute, but also somehow terrifying. I'm going to look at Theris confused now. I just smile and chuckle, because I've probably seen this behavior quite often and experienced it myself. Mm -hmm. So I He talks to a lot of ghosts. He kind of nudges you a little bit, though, Sora. Uh-huh. I've never met a dragon ghost before, though. <laughs> oh, no. He just, guys? he just stares at you so much. Like, he cannot take his eyes off you. Oh. You're like the shiniest toy in this room right now. I mean, yeah, that uh, adds up. It does add up. Sounds about right. Douglas, they haven't spent oh, okay. much time around you. Why don't you explain to him what you're looking at, what you're listening? Oh, <laughs> I'm just looking at your dragon. Ah. Uh. He says, you need to practice with the hammer more. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm, hey, okay, I've been trying. 
He says you haven't been trying, you've been procrastinating. He does like your tree, though. Oh, so oh. you grow the tree? Yeah. yeah, working on it. I miss so much. In three years. Oh, you know that um monastery we went to. The uh, one by one? Uh, the one in the mountains by the. the... The one we left the librarian at? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, that one. I remember. Yeah. It's mine now. Oh, delightful. Why that one in particular? It was free. Area. <laughs> it's been getting colder recently, and that place is always the right temperature. Mm -hmm. It has yeah. the, uh, the obelisk. It was a pretty cool obelisk. I so want a preference. Is the librarian was, still there? Was the librarian still there? No. So uh, basically, no. the way that you got it in, so the Northern Kingdom, their prince, which you met in the Delve, uh, mm -hmm. is actually leading an expedition up there to do research because there's just been a bunch of random shit going on up in the north. However, before they moved in, there was a massacre at the uh, monastery, and every brother within it was slaughtered. So, needless to say, it was really cheap to get, and they had the extra space, and you're willing to take care of it. So, monastery. You probably got like two or three other people that kind of help you at the moment, but it's a startup. Yep. Did they ever figure out how all those people died? Oh, they were butchered. It wasn't hard to figure out. Bye. Nobody knows. Nobody alive or lived. Well, there you go. Hmm? Does Douglas have a way if he's told of people that were there anything to reach out and get information? Or would just if he goes there, there. he has to yeah, go. Okay. If he, he goes to a place where there's a spirit, he can most likely speak with it. I didn't know if it was uh, from a distance or like told about someone he could reach out through. The um, internet. he has a pretty good memory. Um, it depends on sometimes. You just run into random spirits that know stuff sometimes. It just depends. But typically, he's got to, like, actually be near the spirit. He doesn't really do a whole lot of, like, magic to reach out yet. He's tried a little bit of magic, and he's, he's actually picking it up pretty decently, but he's still just learning. Well, I hope things turn out well for your monster. Can I come visit someday? Yeah. Can we go soon? And he looks to you, Therese. Oh, uh, uh, let me message you something real quick here. Yeah. Ah. He wants to go pick up more friends, huh? Uh, maybe one day, but not soon. Not right now. You know, we have important work to do here, and if both of us aren't yeah. here, then, uh, sometimes the, uh, the dead get to come into the city, and we don't want that. Remember? Yes, sir. But we're gonna find a cure. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. You're gonna help with that. You're very special. Mm -hmm. He just smiles. And then he kind of yawns, because it's getting kind of late for him. He's like, I'm going to go to bed. He's like, it's good to see you all. Don't yep. stay up too late. There's a ceremony tomorrow. And then, uh, night, as he Douglas. says that, I, I sit up on the edge of my seat and hold my arms out to get it, so I can come get a big hug. He just kind of comes up and gives you a hug. Hey, Just Mr. Moore. Send him to bed. He just kind of walks oh. down the hall. At this point, you see, like, these four little creepy dolls sitting in the shadows, like, down the hall waiting for him to come down. <laughs> it's bedtime. He should be mm -hmm. here. And he walks towards them, and you just watch as they follow him down the hall to his room. Don't forget Mr. Biggles. He's hiding again, as I see one of the oh. toys, like, hiding behind, like, a curtain. You watch him whistle as this little, like, bird flies over to him from across the room. Uh, 
Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. And he goes to sleep. So what do you mean by that's my destiny? Or it's my destiny? That was I the think one. that's you're going to have to ask him that. Yeah, that's the kid can the talk boy to ghosts. He said yeah. a ghost told him. I don't know what he was told. I have a feeling you know more than what you think mm. you do, though. Looks that I'm a bit confused. Children scare, Ari. That's not true. Depends on the child, I guess. So, anything else you guys want to do this night? Or do you want to rest into the ceremony tomorrow? Oh, uh, the... Do I have still contact or visit often from the other person that was discussed? How things went yeah. down? Mm -hmm. I didn't know if she was it... around or something to, uh... Oh, which one? You, you, uh, there's a question if uh, uh -huh. they were going to be kept where they were at or let to do other things. Oh, um. I don't know what the situation going on with that is. I had to think about that one. Okay. But not anywhere close. No, no, no. So. With the wall stopping them from approaching, how do you keep the roads in to the city safe? How do we do that? Um, so how the the wards essentially work more or less, um they kind of have a prohibitive effect, but they also have like this almost effect that makes them docile. So when they close within like it's a decently sized range. They just kind of stop and kind of move towards the town. Um, once they're there, like, you can actually walk up to them while they're out in the field, and they won't move. So they just kind of, like, get drawn in, and they just kind of sit there. It actually has been a little bit helpful for some uh, collecting, too, because it's the safest way to kind of collect and try cures and things. But it only is the main capital of Gankcaster. Everywhere else is kind of left to their own devices. Uh, so, Leah, how'd you get, uh, how'd you escape? I just kind of smile. Looked at Jason. I had some help. Oh. He just kind of looks at all of you. If you ever leave her behind again, <laughs> he just points at all of you and then points at him and then points at all of you. Leave her. She was abducted. Hey. I tried to get her back in the first time and I was in no position to help the second time. You guys did make a good attempt. Um, you did try to go and find them where they said they would be. But unfortunately, as you didn't have the thing they wanted, you gather they probably noticed you and just didn't bother to come any closer. Yeah. But you I guys weren't far off from what you learned from Leah. Um, <laughs> Leah was probably like less than a mile or two away from where you guys were. However, since both of you went there, I guess both of you actually know what's in the bottom of the tower now. It is yep. now called the Red Cathedral. And it is basically, if you go into it, it's got like patterns and other things too, and they've kind of spruced it up a little bit since the destruction. 
but essentially it's almost like this giant red ruby material has kind of like grown over the entire room and down and through the ruby below that's kind of replaced where the ground cracked you can see the body of that dragon that had been corrupted uh currently encased in this material hmm. Hmm. a living seal of just random curiosity did the ruby react at all to uh Quinari? Was there with her ruby? No, unrelated. Okay. Wasn't sure if it was like similar material or something. No, it was uh, a spell that he used to seal them. He used his own blood. He just ran out. <laughs> trying to get Leah back. So we did go to the Golden Perch and. Down to where Tesh had perished. The entire place is covered in rubies now. It looks like a ruby. They call it blood rubies, but it is essentially crystallized blood. The hell. Uh, recent were you there? They last had spoken with you know, whatever the, the two dragonborn from a year and a half ago. <laughs> have we, have, has there been established a uh, well, chain of... They uh, probably went like a month after um, the year and a half marker. Uh, did the did, uh, block communications get it's established? It's been a while. Them? Communications are still established, yeah. So right now, the Golden Perch is under the command of Asinor and Tess, um, who are actually getting married very soon. Um, they do they did get reinforced a bit from the uh, Platinum Dragonborns and Dragon. Um, so they do have a few more Dragonborns running around that town now, but nowhere near like what it used to be and nowhere near the amount of dragons they used to have, unfortunately. They lost a lot of adult dragons in that uh, conflict, too. Well, Sora and I went about a year and a half ago. I don't think I've been back there uh, uh, since, but... So, Did you, sir? After Leia had been taken? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jason just kind of lucky. It's like, it's probably good. I just would have given him the kid. You did not want to give him this child. How important he is to the rest of the kingdom and what could be done if he was twisted to a negative purpose. I don't think he cares. Not one of us is worth that. Just kind of sits and looks towards Leah. I didn't know that. So. I hope it was worth it. Oh, me and Omash would have not gotten along. No. Did you ever hear over here what they wanted with the kid? I don't he know. He never talked about a kid. You know, if there had been another way, I would have done anything I could to have saved you from him. But this is this is bigger than any of us. This is bigger than all of us together. Now, seems talented with, with the dad. Uh, is there something you're not telling us about him, Thurs? As you finish saying that on the door, boom, boom, boom. Late hour for a caller. Thank you so much. Excuse me, just, I guess you have come. Just a moment. No. Sora, did you say that? Yeah. Character? Um, I look very tired and very small all of a sudden. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh, good. 
as you watch uh, Theris goes to the door and answers, a hooded figure walks through. Do I have and... recognize the figure? Mm hmm Because you're closer. As she comes back and pulls back her hood, and you see long blue hair. I can't miss a party, right? <laughs> Welcome home. And you see 17-year-old Allie. Like, ah, you saved me some, right? And she kind of like nuzzles in and like grabs some food away from one of you. And starts hey. going to town. And she just kind of looks at you and does like a, a hey. humorous dragon growl, like between you getting in the way of her food. <laughs> You just hear from down the hall, two dragons in one day. I was hoping you would make it. <laughs> you never said if you would or not. <laughs> My work keeps me busy, but I wouldn't miss your promotion for the world. Give her a big old hug and sit back down. She just kind of looks. Just make sure they all know that I taught you everything you know. Ari smiles and chuckles. So, mm. Theris, so you've been learning from the best, then? Of course. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be so, able to I, if I hadn't have gotten her so, out of that orb. Sure. I might uh, not be here today if it weren't for him. Oh? Mm -hmm. Orb? You can tell if you get yourself stuck in an orb. A little misunderstanding oh. between siblings. He means my brother put me in an orb. Well, that's that just really nice. I mean, it was a comfy orb. Why I was asleep. Y'all remember at the uh, the end of what well, yeah, was it, episode one hundred when uh, I I yeah. stole two objects and poured it out. Mm -hmm. One of them was her in a orb. Yeah. Uh, player remembers, but Ari has no <laughs> idea when or right. why. <laughs> uh, she was put there for safekeeping. It cast a vote yeah. if you're not in the in the plane. That's what we'll call it. Safekeeping. Fortifying the election. What have you been up to, Nene? These past few years. Um. Honestly, a lot of paperwork. Paperwork? Oh, it's yeah, been a while. A position. No, I run a school. Oh, you run a school? Mm hmm. I work for the Arcanum now. Magic school? Yeah, she's like, I'm not actually too far. Uh, you would kind of know some viewers who catch up now. Eastern Gangcaster no longer exists. Um, it was taken over by the Eastern Lords of Northern Arcadia. However, in quite a witty, strange course of action, they gifted all of Eastern Gangcaster to the Arcanum to establish their schools and their new training grounds for uh, the new Inquisitor forces they've been having go around. They remember when y'all teleported in and how you were caught in the room? No. Mm -hmm. well, uh, well, that's all due to uh, Allie's help. She'll just play like a little playback illusion of it. <laughs> Sora will begin chuckling. Yeah. We were trapped in there for so long. <laughs> you yeah, can't just be teleporting long. anywhere these days. It's very rude. We've installed these in a couple of cities, at least major ones. Like I like the one I installed uh, up north personally myself. Up north, where? Um, northern Arcadia, northern. Uh, similar kingdom to the people you know, but further to the east. <laughs> As we learn, well, we're hoping they to... certainly make it a bit more challenging to get around. I mean, I haven't found an issue with them. And she kind of like looks about. 
there's a way around it if you're in the know. And she kind of, you watch as she holds out a little necklace and dangles it and then tucks it back into her robe. She's also wearing a blue and white robe with the arch magic. And she just kind of looks at you for a second, Leah. I've just got like a mug of coffee that I'm sipping on. Um, I look pretty terrible still. She's kind of like runs her fingers through your hair really quick and just like pulls your hair back a little bit and just kind of like pats you on the head. It's like, it looks good on you. I always thought red was my color. <laughs> it's funny how things work out. And she just kind of laughs. It's like, so big man, after your promotion, uh, it should only take you a couple days to come up with a cure for this, right? And she just kind of laughs at you. Of course, I've just been holding back. It's like, but in all honesty, though, any progress? Uh, have we made progress? I mean, other than being able to do the ward. Yeah, well, how I don't know how old, how long has that been in place? The ward's been in place about a year, um, which has provided a lot of security and has been good for the local area. However, from what you've been able to access in this local, because you haven't gone too, too far away, you've basically stayed within Gangcaster mostly, other than like a meeting or two. You just haven't found anything feasible. Since the warding so system far. was in place, you no other breakthroughs. But uh, it does. It seems as the boy gets stronger and grows, the, the, the further his reach is able. Have you made any efforts to recover that ship? Not I. Have you been back at? Have you been there, Ellie? She kind of looks like. I don't typically make it past the brambles now. I have heard that um, things up north are pretty dangerous these days, especially to the far north. More dangerous than usual? Yeah, just shifting things. Well, do tell. What's been oh, happening no. further up north? Nothing specifically. Just watching. There's a lot of uh, movement. Uh, Kind of hard to explain. And she kind of like explains all the different things. Um, some of the movements of the Winter Queen and their vassals as they're kind of like rebuilding their kingdom. Uh, some of the complications of that. Uh, also, just some of the more abnormal things like creatures you would typically find. Like there's a lot of orcs north of the brambles. And they're almost completely missing. Which you would be very well aware of, Sora, too. That's part of the reason they kind of have that expedition there. It's things that should be very close that are like orcs have been an issue for years and years and years, like constant warring, big wars. And they've receded back in times, but like no one has seen them. Like in a year. Like an ah. occasional one by itself, but nothing. They just up and vanished along with a few other races. That is work. Very work. I don't know. Are maybe the dragon? Kind of out of my my realm now. I just record. I teach. Investigate a little adventuring here and there, but I leave the. I leave all that knowledge stuff to my brother. I'm retired now. <laughs> um, you would gather. She's Her trying time. to kind of play it off. Yeah. She no longer has her divine powers because she did not inherit them. Hey, yo. Uh, so she doesn't have the book. She knows She knows a lot. Like, she's a very good wizard and she's still a dragon. She still has power. But she did not inherit any, inherit any of that power. So he has her book now, too. So she lost a little bit. Do you know if hey, don't look at me that way. Um, they don't talk very much. They don't dislike each other. Okay, I didn't know if they he's were very. I know he and I talk. 
Yeah, you talked to him. Uh, he talked to Lee a while too, and Leah went missing. Um, but no, typically um, he's her half brother. Like they run into each other occasionally in similar type circles, just through magic. But other than that, they don't really talk a whole lot. He kind of sticks to his duties in the north. He is a big uh, supporter for even Northern Gangcaster. They are trying to lend aid to Gangcaster as well as Northern Arcadia. So they're trying to work on that with you guys as well. Um, but yeah, even with his knowledge, and he has rules he has to kind of pertain to too, but the knowledge he has access to that he can use for this, um, nothing great. You guys have had some progress between all of the kingdoms, but no one's really found anything that sticks yet. Um, say, Ali, have you run into Cal at all? Have you talked to him these past few years? And you just watch as her head kind of sinks down a little bit. Is everything all right? He died in the swamp. Oh, no. He died at the second that? battle. It was the battle after you guys left at Cross Manor. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. You would have been proud. A strong and valiant warrior. And she just kind of smiles a little bit. I raise up my mug of coffee. <laughs> and she just kind of sorry. like materializes a glass of champagne in her hand. Glass of alcohol. The kale. To Cal. To Cal. Well, we should probably turn in. Yeah, got an early day. You know how these official things are. Oh, oh I'm assuming throughout Let's the day I've shown everybody light. where their rooms are. Perfect. So you guys kind of look about the rooms. It's relatively safe. Who is the lightest sleeper among the party? Or who feels the most uncomfortable, maybe, is another good... Yeah. Probably Ari. I was going to say, is it be Ari? Like... Sora could be the light sleeper. I mean, Ari does spend a lot, of the, or a lot of time in the wilderness. So. Yeah, Leah also things. has been under a rather intense... Well, so his like... rooms that he has, so most of his rooms have two beds in them, so I'll let you guys kind of pick where you were. He has a couple of different rooms available. I mean, Sora mostly walks everywhere, so... Uh, yeah, well, who would you be bumped with? Oh, so, you, but, like, you're at Theris' house. Would you sleep in a room, or do you, like, sleep outside? Uh, phew, not outside, God, no. If, I'm, if I get a roof over my head, great. Bed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, who is bunking with who? Theris, you have your own room, you don't count. Well, Leah... Well, I assume Leah Jason. and Jason. Now, that's a bold assumption. Is it a correct uh, assumption? I don't think it's very bold. Is it a wrong a given assumption? <laughs> so, who... Or is it Ari and Sora? Sora will pick a room, and whoever comes to join her, that's fine. So, I'll pick on all three of you. Let's say that three of you are awake currently. <laughs> As you're sitting there, not able really to rest, you kind of sit there, and after all, you hear this, like, tapping. like a sounds like almost like a shutter. It's kind of like opening and closing. It's really annoying. I'm but everyone else seems to sleep through it. Thing. I'm going to go close that shutter. I'll be you right kind of get up and make your way over there. You close it. And then you notice there's muddy footprints on the ground in Theris' house. I'm just uh, immediately on edge. Can I look around immediately? You look around, they head down a different hallway. You're not there. <laughs> I 
Alrighty, uh... What do you do? Well, first of all, I'm going to begin following those footprints. So you're down the left hallway. This is down the right hallway. This is like towards um, who would be down this way. Terrace's is room is over kid? here. The kids' room is down this way. There might be like one or two other guest rooms down this way. Yep. Uh, going to walk down the room. We'll follow the money footprints. All right. As you come through, there's a door open. Is it the kids' room? Uh huh. Can I quietly open the door? It's already open. Oh, oh, like wide open? Uh, cracked out. Well, like partially open. What do I see? You look inside. There is something standing over his bed with him sleeping in it. Can I grab it and pull it away from him? If you'd like to. Were they muddy footprints yes. or paw prints? Footprints. Thumper, Operation Bad Kitty. Yep. I'm going to try Am and I grab the creature. Like this is... uh, who is in the room with you? Ari was in the room with me. Okay. Yeah, so you're, okay. Uh, you, are you in Jason's room? There's two beds. You don't have to do, do it. I just need to know who's with who. Yeah, uh, sure. I mean, like, I can be with Jason. Sure. You're like, Jason, you try to wake him up. Your hero does not wake up for anything on this. You're on your own. It was a long, long journey. Yeah. I'm just going to peek down the hall. You, like, you and Ari both peek out the door at the same time. Oh, you see Sora combat ready. Well, oh, you're, you're down the hall and around. Like, this is a decent-sized house. Like, you're a you away from them. You're on the opposite side. Oh, okay. But he has not made it back yet. Making our way down the hall toward the where the shutter was. All right, so you guys make it into this main area, and as you walk forward, you see the muddy footprints. At this point, you hear commotion coming from down the hall. Uh, are you attacking or are you doing like grapple? Grapple. All right, roll an athletics check uh, at advantage. Mm -hmm. it's and gonna a be fun. sound of commotion. Mage armor gets cast, and I heard this start. Son of making her way there. That was Bastard. almost a one and a two. <laughs> Bastard dice. Let's see. I have a That's plus ten. You bastard dice. Natural twenty. Oh boy. As you go to grab it, a hand grabs you and throws you back at the door, and you slam into the door, and you turn. It turns towards you. It's one of the undead zombies. Oh. When it just looks at you and it starts rushing towards you. So you're currently like grappling, fighting with this thing. You guys hear the commotion down the hall. Um, Theris, roll, uh, roll an Arcana check for me really quick. Okay. Like, I don't have wards and shit set up. Uh -uh. Not in here. They definitely don't get this far. Oh, I figured I would have all kinds of shit put up around the house. Um, your hand immediately like burns and tingles, and you sense something's wrong, and you immediately wake up. And uh, I rush to the child's room because it's the only reason you're not far from you. here would be for him. Mm -hmm. So you kind of bust through your you're door, and you see put the down the hall <laughs> you're on the opposite side of the hall. So it's you, and then there's Sora wrestling with this undead, and then you see Leah and Ari on the opposite side. Now you said I've got a compound, right? <laughs> do do I are there the staff are there guards and stuff that are Yeah, you have about a staff of five. So you have four guards well actually you have two guards that kind of shift so they're not always here. But you have two that kinda come and go. Um that watch the gate most hours. Okay, then, you do have one uh, that's at night. As I, I run and like a cook. I cast thaumaturgy and I yell intruders in protect the boy. And so that way it's booming sure. across the compound. Yep. So everyone kind of wakes up at this point. Um, but they're currently wrestling on the ground together. Um, I'm brandishing a fork that I have definitely stolen from Theris' house. <laughs> you pull out a fork. I find silver. What are you guys doing? 
Uh, so it's... I already casting mage armor and running down the hall. Try and pin this thing again. Sure. Oh, an athletic. It's got the upper hand at the moment. Oh. <laughs> so you watch, and you manage to kind of pin it to the side away from the door. Um, anyone attacking it? Well, lift it off the ground. You're not that tall. <laughs> uh, I'm using my uh, astral arms. They have 10 feet of reach. Okay. So you pick it up. You kind of like hold it up. It's like uh, trying to bite at you and claw at you. Holding it on the roof. For some reason, I picture you doing like, you know, when you get like your little kid and they get on your feet and you hold your feet up and you're holding yep. your arms. <laughs> Making an airplane. Yeah. No, I, know exactly, I know exactly what you're saying. Ugh. Oh, I really hope it's not drooling. Not yet. Yeah, I know. But yeah, there's you see this thing sitting down here. It's currently held. Uh, as if he he's holding it up in the air. Uh, mm-hmm. I immediately the uh, the staff materializes in my hand, and I yeah. uh, smack mm-hmm. it. All right, you walk up to it, and you just kind of smack it in the head, and the head just... And then the head goes back, and it continues to move. Have I seen this happen before, or is this something new? Um, You've seen a bunch of random iterations of things that have happened. Um, You're probably going to need to light this thing on fire. Yeah, I was hoping not to do that in the house. I think something awful. Um, put it outside! Put it outside! Can I cut the... Polymorph on it. Fire is right about to. You can try. I want to try it. So you cast polymorph. Uh, what's the DC it needs to make? Um. Well, with my new robe, that's <laughs> gonna be. Oh God. DC <laughs> twenty. Holy shit. Wisdom. Uh, that is an 18 minus 2. So, no. So you watch. Thanks, roll history check for me real quick. Uh, you're too distracted just trying to keep this thing away. Um, what do you want to turn it into? Uh, a cute little turtle. All right, so as you cast it on it, you watch as the body violently begins to kind of vibrate and contort, and it explodes. Doesn't do any damage, but you are all just covered in goop. (laughs) (laughs) You're like... Sorry, burst to flames. (laughs) Press the digitation. Not in the house! Not in the house! No fire in the house! Nope, my eyes were open. Too late. You're like... And you just look at Sora, and Sora's just, like, covered in goo. I'm very upset no one did the op melting. So, there's spells that can Aria just explode people. burning this thing off. Well, I wasn't trying to explode it. How in the hell did that get in the house? Did one of you go outside or something? No, I'll... Yeah, just kind of no. shakily point with the goo dripping off of me. Towards the window. Uh, no, normally I would shake this off, but I'm in your house. Let me help you with that. Let's just press it. Uh, sure, I noticed the footprints at that point. I follow them to the window and then look out. Is there anything I can see that looks out of place? Or I mean, there's more muddy footprints, but nothing that looks out like your guards. Or is everything okay? Uh. Take an aerial look. All right, we'll climb out the window, fly up, and look around for unrecognized movement. You you kind of fly up. Cleaning? Oh, go ahead. Alert. You look around. You don't see anything else. Um, You kind of, like, fly. And they're probably a good half mile from where the wall is. You see maybe, like, one or two that are out in the field, but you don't see anything specifically around here. And the goop 
clarification. It, it burned away, right? Yeah. It stinks, but it burns. Okay, good. But is there any way to get the feeling of your breath? You does not want to inhale that. Because it still feels like it's on me. I just try not to think about it. Do the footprints, can we follow them further away from the house or to an entry point, or is it only... Yeah, so as you guys kind of follow them together, you look and there's like a drain gutter that goes under one of the walls just to like let a little bit of water pass through. It looks like it kind of pulled itself through there. You see like bits of skin and material that it like toothpaste itself pulled it through. Uh... That's unpleasant. Now, does this go There's, into the sewers, or is it just a, a like a storm It goes drain? outside. The weird thing about this for you, Theris, it kind of gives you just concern. This is like a little tunnel that Douglas plays in and, like, hides with. Like, this is what he uses to kind of go play outside when he just, like, to go get a look and pop back in real quick. Now, is this the uh, a storm drain that goes from the outside of the, goes to the outside of the city or outside of my compound? Outside your compound. Uh, I want to search past that. If can we find out where it came from from the other side? You look through. Um, what a survival check. You go through and it goes through like a very muddy area and it's kind of harder to pick out with all the other tracks and traffic that go through there. Um, if you had to wager a guess, though, it looks like it probably came from the wall and it just happened to get lucky and find a way over. Why it got past the wards, though, you're not sure. Because I'm trying to figure out how it got past the wards and then how it got past the walls of the city. Well, typically, like, they, they watch the walls. But with the addition of the wards, like they don't, it's not like hundreds of people on the walls at all hours of the day. There's people right, that kind of control wall. it and keep How eye. How to get through the wall from the outside to begin with? I don't know. That's, that's why you I'm don't see any additional tracks. But there's where does that drain lead, anyways? The other side of the wall. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like that's what I was asking. It's just a like a, a, a storm drain. Yeah, so like his wall has, thing. or his compound has a wall, and there's just like a little creek thing that goes through, and there's like a little hole, and this goes to the other side. So it's big enough for like a small child. Um, this one kind of forced its way through. But it's just at his house. Okay, so it's not very long? No, no, it's literally like maybe like a two, three foot wall. Uh, and there thickness. Uh, it's about seven question. feet tall. There will be grading put in tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to send my guards to go alert the, the watch to check the area, but tell everybody to keep it quiet. We don't want everybody getting hysterical for a possible one-off, but send a patrol around the walls for the rest of the night. All right. So you send them out. Yep. Greatly disturbed that this newly found sense of security had a breach the day before your promotion. And it just kind of sits unwell with all of you. I mean, you saw the words, you saw how they work. But you kind of shake it off. Tomorrow's a big day. You go back to find rest, as unrestful as it may be. And we'll pause there for tonight. <laughs> All right. Oof. Uh, no, no, I can't know. believe you used to disintegrate on Helena. I love disintegrating with her. She had an escape road and she had an escape road and everything. Break had. Pieces had. had an have, escape route. I should have cast today. past by the trees and start, try to. Oh well. <laughs> Hey, the last wizard watching, I tried everybody. to disintegrate. Have a night, everybody. Good night. The last wizard I tried to disintegrate. Uh